Hello everyone, today I am showing you another watercolour painting. Uh, so I'm doing it from this sketch that I did very quickly last night and I was really happy with it, I liked the idea. So I wanted to make it bigger so I had to do print out a larger copy first and then I need to transfer it to my watercolour paper. So I'm using this Canson Moulin Duroy 100% uh, cotton paper. and. I love this paper. It is 300 GSM, so it's really thick and it's um, hot pressed, so it's very smooth. But and it so it's really easy to work with ink on it, and also it's so good with the color, uh, watercolors. So I'm using my uh, light table or light box here. Uh, to transfer the line work to, to the watercolour paper. And as you see, you don't see it as good. It, it's, it's easier to see in real life the line work underneath. But as I said, the paper is 300 GSM. So um, that's why I had to go over the line work on the actual printed paper first to make them stand out a bit more. Otherwise, it would be really hard to to see it uh, through to the watercolour paper. So after doing that I tape it up and I just add some small minor details before I start doing the work with the watercolours. So I'm still using my Winsor & Newton uh, watercolours. Uh, I think for the price the Cotman um, watercolors work really well and especially in this painting you can see the you can really get some good vibrance in there in the colors um, although I have bought a few of um, Sennelier um, uh, aquarelle uh, colors and they are artist grade ones and I haven't used any proper artist grade colors before so um, I don't have many colors yet but I will try them out I'm really curious to see the difference um, so of course they are a bit more expensive but you do get a bit more in the tubes as well so really it's not that much more expensive um, well I will do another video to c compare the watercolors uh, later on so when I choose uh, the color scheme for this painting, um, I didn't have the Little Mermaid um, <laughs> Ariel uh, in my mind uh, when I thought about it. I just like the combination of this uh, green tail and really colorful hair. So it was just afterwards when I did it, it's like, oh, I actually look like Ariel. Well, hey ho. Um, so it wasn't my intention. Uh, so here you can see I just I added uh, on the edges of the bottle I added um, some masking fluid so I can do um, easier wash over the whole bottle um, to make this gradient wash um, and of course <laughs> I go over with a hair dryer now and then to um, to let the uh, paint dry in between properly. I haven't used the hair dryer that much before. I've just been really patient and waited, but then I realize I might actually use the hair dryer a bit because it gets a bit boring to have to sit and wait. You lose the flow when you when you work if you have to sit and wait for the paint to dry. Um, luckily, on my hair dryer, because I've heard that with the um, and masking fluid can be a bit risky to to go over with too much heat because the, um, I don't know some people say that the masking fluid can stain the paper a bit and if you add heat to it but on my hair dryer I have an option to just don't add any heat so I have a button so I can choose to have just um, just normal air uh, which is really good, it still helps the drying process a lot, so uh, it really helped in my case. As usual, I have listed all the materials that I've used um, in the comments below. Uh, 
and please feel free to subscribe and uh, share this to anyone that you think might be interested. Thank you for your time and I hope to see you around. Bye for now.